So, Mark, we're at Croft Park in Carrollton. Can you believe this is port number 63? It's amazing. It's amazing what you've been able to do. From day one, uh, you had a vision. Uh, court one was in Frisco, Texas, and you just took it from there and ran with it. So, you know how we ended up uh, connecting with Sport Court is um, I made a cold call to the office in Salt Lake City. Okay. And I knew we wanted to do a court. And so when the person on the other phone and answered the phone, I was praying that they were at least 40 or older. <laughs> if they're like 23, they're like, right. who are you? <laughs> if there's 40, they're like, oh my gosh, Nancy Lehman. Right. So the person on the other end was like, oh, uh, yeah, what are, what are you doing calling? It was the switchboard. <laughs> oh, wow. And I said, who's in charge of like the courts? And I ended up talking to Joe. And then Joe connected us. Okay. In 2009, yeah. you supersized that pretty cool court in Frisco. That was a big one. It was yeah. nice. I go out there a lot. Yeah, I stopped by. Um, we just recently put some new rims up and uh, some padding, new padding. I think the city of Frisco uh, wanted to freshen it up a little bit. So uh, it still looks great after all these years. So my question, people ask me this a lot, so I'm gonna ask you, do you get tired of opening these courts? Not at all, not at all. I mean, I think for me in North Texas, this is our, I believe, getting close to 20th courts to build for you, so uh, not at all. Um, fortunately, my business is at a point where that's where I spend all my time is, is getting these courts ordered, getting them scheduled, getting them, the construction done, the installation done, the logos. Uh, but no, by no means am I getting tired of them. So when you first heard that we were going to do uh, these courts, did you wonder, like, why are they doing this? And once you had a chance to see what we do with kids and mm -hmm. the community, did that have some sort of an effect on you? No, because... Um, when I, I've been doing this for 30 years, and I felt that I found that that the best way to give back to the through the to the community is through Nancy Lieberman and the Nancy Lieberman Charities. Otherwise, we can give back by donating money for this or writing a check for that. But this is so much my pathway of building these courts that this is the best way for me to give back to the community is by building all these courts. It seems that every court you do, to me, it's just a little bit better. You found another way to freshen it up. It, it could be the lines. It could be working with the USTA now and having tennis. Uh -huh. uh, it, it could be the, the police badge, which mm -hmm. is so pristine. The badges are getting crazy. I mean, um, from, from the very first one we did to now, if you go look at that police badge, I mean, it looks like something from Paris or something. 3D or something. Or something. Yes, it's, yes. Yes. it's beautiful. You know, we think of this as our legacy, you know, giving back. Mm -hmm. uh, you have that same kind of, you know, this, this is so meaningful because long after we're gone, this is still gonna be here? Right. Yeah, I mean, I'm kind of getting up there to a point in age where I've been slowly thinking about you know, when I'm gonna retire, but then I think about my two boys, one's just starting college this fall, Hang so. Hang on, he's not going to retire. <laughs> okay, just for the record, that's not gonna happen. Okay, happen. go ahead. Um, but, no, I mean, I think. Going to retire. <laughs> I think a lot of these courts, yeah, I mean, they're gonna be here for a long time. If you look at the one that we did in Frisco, I mean. It's still nice. It's still nice, the kids are using it every day, and uh, no, it's, it's just really been rewarding to be able to get these courts down. Well, we just, we love Sport Court, and uh, you are just, we were so happy to give you the award today. Uh, we've been meaning to do that for like courts, but we kept saying, no, we'll do it at the next one. We want it to be like a sensational tennis, USTA, uh -huh. uh, Pastor Hayes. We wanted it to be just fantastic. Right. Well, no, I mean, that was really appreciative, and, and it was an honor to get this. And by the way, this basketball is bad to the bone. It's Thank you cool, very much. It? Yes, it'll go on you, the. On a trophy case in our office. You so. can't buy it. Look, it says Nancy Lieberman, class of 1996, Lady Magic, and these are Hall of Fame balls. And you can't, you, can't you can only them. get them at the Hall of Fame. Oh wow! So that's very awesome. It's, I mean, it's super cool. And the Hall of Famers, we're just kids. We sure. just get excited. I get excited when I see special 
people and situations. Right. So uh, thank you for accepting that from oh, us. It was awesome. It wasn't expected, but I really appreciate it. It's well, really awesome. We're going to be opening 100 courts in the next year or so. And Amazing. Mark will be there. He's not retiring. <laughs> I'm going to talk to his wife and go. then kids.